Now, five months ago, former Liberal Cabinet Minister John McCallum had to resign in shame yep. as our ambassador to China. Good We're bad. now in June, and the Prime Minister has not appointed a replacement. That's right. Canadians are being detained on bogus charges, soybean producers are facing new barriers, and canola producers are having shipments blocked. And now the Chinese government is going after our meat producers. This is going from bad to worse. Right. Why has the Prime Minister not appointed an ambassador to China? We are very concerned with the uh, detention of Canadians in China and that's why we're rallying an important amount of friendly countries and also that we were able to make sure that we have a joint statement with the United States calling for the uh, immediate release and of course rejecting their wrongful the, the wrongful detentions of Michael Spavor and Michael Kovic. Thank you. Order the Honorable Opposition House Leader. It's not working, Mr. Speaker. This relationship and the impact is getting worse. The Prime Minister's failure when it comes to the Chinese government is causing real pain and yeah. real suffering for Canadians. Yeah. He's failed to appoint a new ambassador. He's refusing to pick up the phone and call the Chinese Premier. Canadian lives are at risk and agricultural producers are suffering. When will the Prime Minister finally start treating this crisis with the seriousness, the urgency, and the attention that it requires. Yeah.